It seems like audio is a real pain point for a lot of new live streamers using OBS. And audio is probably the most important piece of any live stream or video. So it's really important to get it right. I wanna walk you through the process of how to hunt down echoes, screeching, audio, noise, and crackling that you might experience. So a very large portion of audio issues that you're going to run into in OBS have two factors. One, you have desktop audio in your audio sources, which means it's picking up your game stream or any other desktop audio, any other sounds your computer is playing. Two, you're not wearing headphones and you're playing your desktop audio through your speakers. So the first thing that you need to do, and I'm just gonna show you for an example here, we're gonna bring up this right here. This is your live stream studio that you have on YouTube. And this one is going to be where most of your mistakes are made. You can see right down here in the lower left corner, I am wearing headphones. That's because you should always wear headphones when you're live streaming, if you are listening to any kind of desktop audio or anything like that. It's just the way it is, it's what you have to do. Secondly, there's this preview window right up here. If you hover over it while you are live, it's going to come up with audio settings. This must be muted. If this is not muted, it's going to play your stream on a delay through your desktop audio. And if you have it playing through your speakers, then your microphone's going to pick that up as well. So OBS will pick it up because it's monitoring desktop audio and it's already on a delay there. And then your microphone is going to pick it up as well on a delay, which is going to delay the delay, which is going to cause all kinds of echoing and problems on your live stream. This is literally the biggest mistake that YouTubers make with audio. So number one, wear headphones. Number two, mute any desktop audio that you don't want to hear. In specific, that little preview window. That gets everyone all the time. Now, if you're experiencing any kind of crackling or anything like that with your microphones, chances are it is usually the cables. Almost always the cables exclusively. Replace the cables change out the microphone, whatever you have to do. This seems to be especially problematic with XLR cables. I don't know why they go bad so often. I replace my XLR cables at least twice a year, it seems, and I don't even take them out of where they are. I'm always in the same studio using the same setup, so they don't even move around, but they still tend to go bad. So if you get crackling in your audio, check your cables. That's usually the first issue. If you're still experiencing problems with your audio, even when you change out your cable, try moving it to a different port on your computer. Obviously, this is not something you can do with XLR cables, but if you're bringing in your microphone through USB or something, try changing it to another USB port. It is possible that there's just something wrong with the USB port that you're inputting it into, and that could be causing the crackling. But generally speaking, it's almost always cables. And those two issues, Echoing audio and crackling cables are the two biggest issues that anyone has. And that's exactly how you solve those problems. So you should be good to go now. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.